<laughs> okay, okay. I've got a good one. Ready? Where do bad rainbows go? Where? I don't know. Where? Prism. It's just a light uh, sentence. <laughs> oh my gosh, Mosley. How many of these do you have? Wait, okay, okay. One more. Please, Nor. My wife and I let astrology get between us. It tore us apart. Uh, Mosley. <laughs> All right, uh, so here's my resignation. Shoot me back to Earth, please. <laughs> I hate you all. I didn't sign up to this to be subjected to bad dad jerks. They're not that bad. Come on now. Okay. One more. <sighs> Why can't you send a duck to space? Because the bill would be astronomical. <sighs> Get out. That one's <laughs> <laughs> yes, I got Reagan to laugh. That's all I needed. <laughs> Joke. Oh, I'm laughing at dad jokes. How long have we been out here? The fact that you're laughing at all is proof that we've been out here too long. So, you guys, what are we going to do to celebrate? Celebrate what? That's right. It'll be one year next week. Wait, already? We've been in space for a whole year. Athena, how long have we been in space? We have been on course for 359 days. Here's to 50 more years at this rate. Oh, come on now, Reagan. We gotta stay positive. Athena will find a shuttle. I have faith I in cannot calculate technology. Didn't ask, Passed but thank you. But what if it does take years? When do we stop and go back? When we find the shuttle. But... We will find it, Adora. Athena's designed to find it. We'll I was created by Athena, stop. Didn't ask. We gotta keep our hopes up, guys. I mean, we're already the first astronauts who got to experience space travel. I'm sure our fame is solidified back on Earth. Yeah, we're probably already in high school textbooks. <laughs> I don't know. I'm worried. Adora, listen. We only finally figured out how to achieve space travel because a multi-trillion dollar space shuttle drifted off into space. When there's money on the line, you better believe this shit is going to be failure-proof. That's what I'm afraid of. I would like to accept failure if this takes too long. Relax, Adora. Trust the science. Don't call yourself an astronaut if you can't. I know. Howie, come on. Be nice. We're all stressed out. It's been a long time. You guys understand that an AI is guiding us. This won't take our whole lives. And you understand that this is like looking for a needle in a haystack, correct? But we already know where the needle is, Mo. All right, it was nice chatting with you. Oh, good grief, he's been testy. What if we find it, but it's in pieces? It could have been taken out by asteroids, then what? Then we drag back what we can, that's all we can do. Okay, calm down, let's just take a moment to relax. Everything is okay. Everything is going to be fine. Athena, er, the AI is on track. And sure, it's taken a while, but we'll find it. They've spent 40 years perfecting this ship and making sure the objective is possible. And thinking about what Reagan said earlier, think of how cool it's going to be when we get back home. We're going to be getting up at 5 a.m. every morning to do a slew of interviews every day for probably like the first few months back. So just relax. I mean, look at how cool this shit is. We're way off into space. We might even discover a new solar system or something. I'm gonna be honest, I'm... I'm starting to feel like maybe... I'm not cut out to be an astronaut. Hey, come on now. Nothing could have prepared us for this. Not me. I was born for this. I wish I had your enthusiasm. I love space. I love being out here. If I die like this, then so be it. I'm dying happy. Okay, whoa. Too much, Reagan. Chill out, please. Sorry. Sorry. It's okay, I'm just... I don't know. You're getting anxious, that's understandable. I mean, what happens if we find someone still on board? You mean like if the crew is still alive? Yeah, I, I can't imagine it, watching Earth drift away trapped on an out-of-control space station, disappearing into the darkness. Sounds familiar. Hey, now, the AI is set to course. This is nothing like that lost space station. Look, Adora, 
There'll be no one on board. They would have tried the escape pods. We need to stop with the campfire horror stories. We may as well start entertaining the idea of fucking giant man-eating aliens then. Okay, well, one, Reagan, you're not helping. Two, aliens are not completely improbable, but highly unlikely to be anything more than bacteria. And three, escape pods would be a death sentence, so there's a chance we may find some bodies inside the station. Unless they use the escape pods in a deranged last-ditch effort. Or someone's still alive? Very, very unlikely. A space station wouldn't be stocked with enough food and water for 40 years. I don't know, I guess my imagination is racing. Adora, if we're gonna be realistic, we will probably find some corpses. Oh god. But that's okay, because then Reagan will finally have someone she can relate to. Okay. What the fuck is that supposed to mean, big guy? <laughs> you're dead inside, Reagan. Don't act like you're not. I mean, yeah, but like, dark. Too dark for you? Really? You're the one who wouldn't mind dying in space. Oh, please, enough of this kind of talk. I don't want to hear it. Alright, alright. But hey, we're about done with our lunch, so we should probably get back to work. That'll help you take your mind off things. Right. I'm gonna go help Howie with the logs. Mosley and Adora, you're on maintenance on the bottom level, right? Yep. And you, uh, do you have anything to do outside of the ship? Cause Howie needs to know if you're heading out. He was repairing your cable. Alright, then you can probably go with Mo and Adora to finish maintenance. Alright, let's go. doing maintenance. It's crucial we keep everything up to date and clean and functioning. I know. At least you're not doing their job and doing maintenance outside. Oh yeah? But don't you like doing that? Oh come on. I know you love it. You get to go out and be surrounded by the unknown. Again, not very encouraging. Hey, you've never gone outside since we left Earth. I, I did once and you're one to talk. Nobody here goes outside except them. Not Howie, not Reagan. Rarely do I see them volunteer. Well, I don't know about them, but I'm always down to do it. It's just that you're really good at navigating the ship's exterior. You're probably the best I've ever seen. You really are. All right, here we go. Oh yeah, it's looking good. Hmm, compressors are looking perfect. Pristine one. Check. Wires are good. Another pristine one. Mm hmm. Oh, shit. This doesn't look good. Pass me a filter. Size 2B. What level am I recording? Yeah, hold on. Mm. Degraded negative one. Okay. You can add reliability negative one and add pristine to the corrective actions taken. Yeah, I know. Oh, uh, you know, canister five needs a complex skill check. Can you start on that? Thanks. Me or them? Them. Dora, you're better at recording the mumbo jumbo. Let's be honest. Yeah, well, plus it is one hell of a drug. So, um, do you think I should talk to Howie? His do-or-die attitude is not helping the mood lately. Yeah, I figured, but if he's coping with an overzealous work attitude, then he needs to keep it to himself, you know? Record degraded, negative one. Oh my gosh, again? Yeah, fuck. This one just doesn't want to behave anymore, huh? At this point, <laughs> it's critical. No, no, I, I got it. I can shove it back in. Shove it back in? That's not a procedure I can record. You can record that Mo doesn't give a fucking shit. Plus one. I'm writing critical one and no action taken. I'm fixing it. Don't write critical. <sighs> then fix it. <sighs> you see that? Magic hands. 
put that down as a pristine one, baby. That is not a pristine. It's critical at this point. It's pristine 100, Abby. The ship ends to my will. Make me the captain. You know, I'd be okay with that, but I'm putting it down as critical. Nothing is critical when I'm around. I'm fix it, Felix. All right. What's next? Oh, God. Please. No, what now? What's up with Genister 5? It's disabled? Never. I won't allow it. Let me take a look. Ah, oh, shit. Yeah, that is... That's disabled. Am I putting it down as a critical failure? Um... Possibly. Let me, uh, let me tinker with it, though. You two can keep going through with that checklist. Okay. Here you go. Through the checklist, I feel like I should be looking at these panels before Magic Hands disables the entire ship. Uh, pristine one for compactors. Ow. What the hell? Mo, this whole panel needs a critical skill check. Seriously. Addy, if you're gonna base everything on this textbook diagram, then yeah, but everything- Functional personnel, as of 2346, I've detected a clear and immediate pathway proximity with 889-003-T2 and what? estimate contact in T-14 minutes. Please initiate docking sequence 1A18 before pathway proximity reaches- Whoa, wait, wait, <laughs> wait, seriously? Yo, Mark Canister 5 is disabled. It can wait. We gotta go. Did we seriously just find it just now? I mean, the AI can't be wrong, right? Then this means this is it. Come on, guys, hurry. We gotta get to control. Mosley, we did it. We found Holy it. Holy shit. Hold on, I'm double checking. Athena, what is the pathway proximity of the space station? Pathway proximity of space station 889003T2 is in T minus 13 minutes. Athena, do we have permission to dock? Successfully docking with 889003T2 would be possible in T minus 13 minutes. Please initiate docking sequence 1A18 before pathway proximity reaches T minus 7 minutes. This is real. We found it. Athena, please open 1A18 permissions tab. Opening permissions tab for sequence 1A18. Are you sure you'd like to continue? Yeah. No shit, Athena. Please read the following instructions to begin the docking sequence 1A18 and then click accept to continue. Task 1. Decompress the yellow marked docking canisters at section 3, at bottom level north end. Mo, you got that? Yep, I'm gone. Alright. Task 2. Open tabs for docking procedure and folder. Okay, Reagan. That's a you thing. On it. I'll do task 3, and you and Adora can go to the airlock. Adora, help them get suited up and get the airlock ready. There should be instructions to prep it for docking. Why do they need their suit? In case they need to go outside of the station to help dock properly or do any repairs, we need to run a diagnostic before we go in to make sure it's all still sealed and the oxygen levels are still there. Got it. Let's go. Okay, um, you need your suit. Here. Hope it doesn't have any serious damage that needs you to go outside. Just makes me worried. Are you nervous? I am. I know I shouldn't be, it's just a space station, but something about knowing that it's been alone in space for so long. I guess I just can't stop thinking about the worst possible outcomes. I knew what I was getting myself into when I agreed to this mission, but man, it just got so real so suddenly. I don't know. You're pretty calm, though. You and Mosley definitely make me feel better. <laughs> to think, a year on Earth has pretty much passed already. I wonder how far away we are. When we get back, what's the first thing you're gonna eat? 
<laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm missing normal food already. I want a big sundae with vanilla and chocolate and pistachio ice cream and covered in chocolate sauce and peanuts. And I guess for a meal, I want my mom's homemade mac and cheese so bad with barbecue sauce drizzled on top. <laughs> hey, it's good. I'll have to get you to try some someday. What are you missing, though? That sounds so good, too. Ugh, oh, man. Well, we're halfway there. I guess you don't need your helmet. Just carry it in. On the plus side, we should be able to get some equipment and take some parts to help with any disabled and critical maintenance. I don't know how Mo can keep such a positive attitude when so many compartments and panels Docking are failing already. Docking sequence 118 has been enabled. Operative model 63N retrieval will be ready to dock with 889003T2 in T-minus 9 minutes. Whew, my heart is racing. I can't believe we're actually doing this. Now scanning 889003T2 for air quality. Okay, we're almost ready. Reagan is just finishing up the last tasks. <laughs> We're doing this! Woohoo! Yeah. We are making history today. Should I get suited up too, Howie? No, not needed. The only outside work we should do is minimal. Just to aid with docking. Alright, that's your call. Or unless there's no air, which is a possibility, but we won't know Stand that complete. until. A89003T2 is approved for cautious entry. Air quality index 105. Unhealthy for sensitive groups. Please be advised that the air quality may be detrimental for the following conditions. That's fine, Not Athena. Thank you. The air quality it's is... It's only a problem if you're, like, really old or have health issues. It's fine. So I guess that means you'll be getting suited up then. Not now, Mo. This isn't the time for jokes. Okay. Sorry. Alright, we are good to go. <laughs> That's what I'm saying! Round up the supplies. You guys check the clipboard to make sure we got everything we need. All personnel, please be prepared to dock with 889-003-T2 in T-minus 5 minutes. Alright. You are suited up. Everyone is here and ready. The dock is ready. Air quality is good. The ship is stable. I've got a portable communicator in case they do any exterior work. I've got all our supplies that we should need. And I've got a drill. For what? Duh. For a weapon. Not needed. I'm just kidding. I'll leave it. My fists are weapons enough. You guys, I know this is exciting, but please, let's take this seriously. We're doing a quick interior surveillance, checking computers, checking for bodies, making sure the docking is stable, and then dragging this thing home. Aye, aye, Captain. We never said what we'd do if we found bodies. I'll leave them. There's nothing we can do. Oh my god, Adora, calm down. It's gonna be okay. Whoa, whoa, take it easy. Slow down. You're breathing. It's okay. Are you fucking kidding me right now? Howie, Seriously? Shut it. We've been out here dealing with the uncertainty of things for a long time. Have some patience, please. She was trained for this. Nothing could have possibly prepared us for this. We are the first people to travel space. Give her a minute. I'm, I'm just stressed. I'm fine. I'm fine. Do you want to stay back here while we go in? No, I, I don't want to be alone. Okay, that's fine. It's gonna be fine. We're gonna take a look around and then head home. No worries. If we okay. see anything, we'll make sure okay. you won't see it, okay? Okay. We'll let you know when to turn around or look away. Howie. I didn't say anything. All personnel, please be prepared to dock with 889-003-T2 in T-minus one minute. You can hear it. Yeah, it's preparing to dock. When we get in, I want Mo to head to the North Bay. Reagan to the West End. Absolutely not. We are not splitting up. Not with a Dora like this. I was going to pair her with them since she has the communicator. No, we're a team. We're going in together. Completing tasks together would be redundant. Let's experience the retrieval of a lost ship together, okay? We're a family. At least to me you guys are. And we're going to stick together and do this as a team. Does that cramp your style, Howard? No, that's fine then. We'll go to the control room and check the logs. Our family? 
<laughs> yeah, of course. You guys are my space family. <laughs> That's cheesy as fuck. Yeah, well, maybe we need a little cheese around here. Find three T2 has been successfully docked. Air quality index is at 99 and safe for all personnel. The air quality suddenly improved? Oh, that's good. Wait, how the hell does it just improve like that? Maybe something skewed Athena's initial recording. But hey, at least it's improved. I didn't understand your question. Stop, Athena. The AI messing something up is not a good Entry sign. Improved. Welcome to 889 Everything seems fine from here. Let's go, space family. It's quiet. It's honestly no different than before. Ugh, it's a bigger ship that's been empty for a while. It feels eerie. And it's dark. Would both of you stop it? Seriously. The theatrics are getting ridiculous now. Howard, I swear your attitude- No offense, but I'm a little bit on Howie's side here. We need to chill out. It's an empty ship. It's been out here for 40 years. I'm surprised that there's still lights working at all. All we're doing is scaring ourselves, although, Howie, you really need to reevaluate the way you've been talking to us. Especially to Adora. So, me being realistic and starting to get, dare I say, annoyed. Makes me the bad guy now. That's great. I love that. I love that I'm being singled out because I'm not entertaining the very unprofessional byproduct of your overactive imaginations. I get that, but you're being a dick about it. Can you just leave it alone? I'm not trying to be a dick. I'm trying to bring sense back to the conversation every time it gets derailed by paranoia. Nothing is getting derailed, dude. And paranoia is a normal reaction. Well, it's not the type of reaction we need right now. It's jeopardizing our mission. Nothing has been jeopardized. We are here doing this shit right now, are we not? Time out. Seriously, shut up. We're done. It's done. The paranoia shit needs to stop, and the attitudes need to stop. Howie, where is the control room? Up ahead. You know, for being over 40 years old, the tech doesn't look all that different. Quality index is at 85. Whoa. Okay, Howie. That's getting a little spooky. Why is the air improving? I don't know, but it's not a reason to act paranoid. Yeah, uh, it kind of is. Air quality improving is not spooky, mostly. Well, should we be worried? Not worried, just perplexed. Well, this is very perplexing, Professor. Should we discuss it over tea? So who's got the attitude now, Can huh? we check the logs, please, so we can get out of here? All right, let's take a look. Yeah, the old crew left a bit of a diary, it looks like, right up until the end. When was the last entry? Well, 40 years ago. They used the escape pods after day 56. That's not very long. Oh, well, long for being trapped in space. But that means there's no one here bodies, so we can all relax. So, the pods would be missing then? No shit. <gasps> what was that? I felt that go through my body. I hated that. Did something break? Like what? I don't know. A large cable somewhere? Well, you have the station's layout. What do you think it was? Are there any large cables that could just snap? Um, no. Let me think. What's that? What did you find? Yeah, what is that? Let me take a look. <laughs> Let me guess. Pristine one. <laughs> Actually, um, this is really confusing. There's these weird patterns on here. An art piece? On a space station? Maybe the former crew tried building something. <laughs> and carved weird symbols into it? Maybe they were going insane. <coughs> what is that? Damn it, I don't know what that is, okay? You guys feel it going inside you, right? We should go. <laughs> what the hell? Why 
is there gravity? Where did the gravity come from? I think we may have entered an atmosphere. Where? How? I don't know. That's the only illogical explanation. We've entered something's atmosphere and we're falling. And that would explain the weird sound. It could be the station creaking. But, Howie, it doesn't feel like we're falling. We'd be hitting the ceiling if that was the case, right? I... I don't know, you guys. Remember? I... I mean... Maybe... Howie, you can't rationalize this. We're not alone. It can't be possible. It can't be possible. Everyone, hide now. get off the ship. Now. I don't want to cry. Nadora, I'm afraid you can't right now. Okay. Okay. Okay, um, somebody see if it's still there. Well, hold on. How about we take a minute to figure out a plan? We might not have a minute, Mo. We run. No, no running. We can calmly walk back. The door to our ship isn't too far. Okay. When it's time or what? I don't one at a time. What does that do for anyone? So, if one gets caught, whoever's left gets a chance at surviving. Well, we have strength in numbers. I don't think numbers are going to stop that thing. We don't even know if it's on our ship right now. I know. No, it's out in the other way. Which means we're running out of time to get moving. Who goes first? We're going together. We just need to be quiet. Everyone, come on. Let's go. Slowly and quietly. We're not that far now. Come on, guys. It's gonna be okay. Adora, you've got to get your shit together. I know. I know. We're not bringing the station back now, huh? No, probably not. Sorry. I know you were excited about that. It's fine. Just shut up. Shit, holy shit! I can't run in their suit, they're gonna die! Adora, go! Wait. Run! Put on your helmet! Hurry!
we have the chance. Where are you at now? A different part of the ship. What do you mean? You... You will... be held in captivity... for trespassing in Regent... until I hand you over to Council Ovella. I... Uh, I got a copy... of whatever this... M made up languages thought you could hide it from me how many times have you others tried doing this now I have to say I'm impressed with the complexity of this one it's grossly busy wow how long were you developing it for Playing dumb now is not going to lighten your trial. So, who do you work for? And what are you doing with an unauthorized and very much illegal ship, mind you? There's no classification, and the build is completely, just grossly out of code. I've been employed by the Ovella to recover and retrieve this thing. If you do not cooperate with me, you will be cryogenically detained until we arrive to Idian. Do you understand? How can you not understand? Do you know what I am? What? 
Are you trying to anger me? Because you're doing a damn good job so far. Have you not heard of an Andorite? <laughs> you're joking, right? <laughs> I'm taking you to the Cairo Cylinders. Ugh, what? What do you mean you don't know what I'm talking about? I, I don't know what you're trying to pull, because at this point, you're under detainment, and you've run out of options. But I will entertain you and your stupid questions. I am an Andorite, an officer, obviously, and I'm arresting you for trespassing on an unauthorized spacecraft. Now I need to bring this thing back to the Ovella, back to Idian, and you'll be brought to Cardinal for trial. If there's anything else you'd like to say now before I put you under, please go ahead. Okay. Just so I'm understanding. You're telling me that you're a human from the planet called Earth. And you're here to retrieve this ship. And I'm supposed to believe that. There's no human in the species lexicon, and there's no earth in the records. <sighs> Clearly you're some kind of mixed species, which is fine, so am I. But you need to tell me before I run a diagnostic myself. And you need to start telling me the truth of where you're from, and what you're doing here just outside of the Eta. Oh, human, that's not... You know what? Let me look it up then. I'll play along. No, nothing. No human. Wow, who would have guessed? It's almost like... Well, it's almost like you're making shit up to piss me off. <laughs> Ugh, look, I'm gonna run some tests. Because I do in fact need to know your species. I can't tell from looking at you, so you're clearly a mix. Now hold on. Hmm? How am I speaking English? Is that what this language is called? So now you're gonna act like you don't know about global cloning? I don't know why I'm entertaining this. Well, with that noodle I had, I place it under your eyelid, it shoots up into your frontal lobe, copies the language section, and clones the neural information to a synthetic replica which can be imprinted into anyone else's mind. I'm, I've never had a pirate pretend to play dumb like this before. I, I don't understand what you think you're doing. It's not funny. How are you a pirate? Uh, what? I'm not answering these questions anymore. I, I don't like this. I don't need this bullshit. I'm already having the worst day. Look, I, I need to draw blood, so close your mouth for a minute. Seriously. Stop shaking so much. You're being way too dramatic. Just accept that you got caught. Is this your first time getting detained? <laughs> I told you I wasn't gonna answer any more stupid questions. My name? <laughs> no. You can refer to me as Andorite Amra. And my identification is Kitika Metsuki. And that's all that I'm legally required to give you. You don't need to know my first name. We're just kidding. <laughs> You know, speaking of not understanding catch, none of you or your colleagues responded to Atla. Why did you ignore me? You know Atla. No, <laughs> no. I know you know how to speak Atla. Everyone speaks Atla. It's the universal language. You forced me to copy this stupid English language because you have been deliberately ignoring all my warnings and resisted arrest. This is not going to end well for you in trial. Not at all. You're only making it worse for yourself. Ah, uh, okay, here we go. What do we have here? Uh, what? There's nothing. I can't... What? Why? There's no results for... You. Oh, how do you, how do you say human in catch or or an outlaw? Uh, what were you doing on the ship again?
This is your ship then. Is that why everything is so small? Well, most ships are accommodating to all species unless for a pre-approved reason in which you need to be cleared by. I couldn't read or understand anything in the ship. Is it English? Then I should be able to understand them now. Okay. Uh, here, here's what's going to happen. You are still under detainment, and you will be restrained by your first appendages. But I'm going to take you out of the chair restraints, and we're going to take a look at the computers together. And you're going to help me. Got it? Alright. Now you go ahead of me, because I need to squeeze through these hallways. see. Oh, I can read it now. Yes. This, this technology seems so archaic and alien to me. Oh, there was more of you here. On this ship? More of your species? So you're not a mix. But then how... Okay, help me to understand. So you and your colleagues came to bring this ship back to Earth? Sorry, Earth? How did it get here? Huh. Where is Earth? What do you mean? How did you get here if you didn't know? Is it in one of the regions? No, the regions. You don't know about the regions. Kitra, Dorian, Aris, Baskis. Were you telling the truth? Did I just discover a new species? I, 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 I don't know if I'm fully convinced yet, but if you are what you say you are, then this is amazing. I gotta look into this more. These logs. It looks like the others who were here before were trapped. Why didn't they send out a distress for help? That's what you're supposed to do. This is your first time traveling space? Really? You really are something archaic. I mean, this space station, it's so unlike anything I've ever seen before. I, I thought it was just severely off code. It didn't even come up at all. I just found it doing my rounds. I struggled to dock with it, I won't lie. It wasn't set up to... You really are a new species then. I, I guess I... Well, then, I guess I should ask, do you know what I am? Because based on earlier, I must have scared you. You couldn't understand me then. I see. I come off strong, I know, it's just kind of how I am. But also, you know, small hallways. I have to squirm my way through, and it was really starting to irritate me. And I thought you and your colleagues were pirates? You know, hijacking ships, performing illegal activities and trades, gangs and cults, and so on. It's my job as an Andorite to detain pirates and bring home out of control vessels. I've been doing this for 15 years. Would this computer be able to tell me where Earth is? Well, you want to go home, don't you? And I imagine the council would like to know. What other species do you guys have? Because these logs and pictures only seem to show humans. Oh, okay. And and you all live together on just Earth? And are you fully human or are you mixed with any other species? Uh, what? Uh, well, like, what other intelligent species do you live with? Oh, wait, really? You're from a single species society? That... that never happens. I mean, I'm I'm from Gojiko. That's the planet I was born on in the Ovella. But my ancestry is from Crescesia, because I'm a Crescident. 
like how you're human. I I'm, I'm called a Cressidan, but um, I I'm also mixed because I have about one fourth of me that's Gorglet. But right now I live on Idian. Th these are these are all planets I'm talking about. Because I'm from a multi-species planetary system. I'm from the Ovella. Oh, it's, uh, well, it's a collection of interconnected planets, so that's where Idian is, Gojiko, Senec, Cardal, Perdiet, Austral, and Vitvitsa. Th these are all planets. You've never heard of any of this before? Not even the regions or anything? <laughs> wow, so, so you came here through the Acra. Gosh, I'm losing you, aren't I? I, I can see it on your face, you have no idea what I'm talking about. I don't really know what to do. <laughs> well, this isn't in my job description. I don't have a protocol for this. You won't be able to go back to Earth until we can find it. The council will look for it, I'm sure. But until then, you're kind of stuck with me. Oh, but your friends, they would be going back to Earth, right? Hmm. Come on. I want to run more tests on you. Let's head back to the medical bay mission. Oh no, don't worry. I, I won't stick a needle in your eye socket this time. I promise. So I guess Atla would have sound like a bunch of nothing to you then. Uh, well, it's a very basic language. It's consisting of sound couplets, usually in clicks or chirps or whatever. It doesn't matter as long as you use the right combination. Uh, I don't know what Morse code is, or binary, you got to explain that. Oh, you know what, yeah, it was a lot like that, but you do it with your own sound. You could probably learn it pretty easily, it's kind of required to know. But anyways, I probably should have run these tests first, but I didn't know you were not from around here. Um, sit down for a minute. I gotta give you some basic shots just in case we are infecting each other right now. This isn't something I do a whole lot of, so I only have the most basic shots. And I don't know how safe these will be, but they're made to work for any species and your physiology can't be that much different from at least one of the species for Mita. Hmm? Ita is what we call our known universe. It has the four regions. And the Acra would be the unknown universe, which is everything outside of the Ita. What do you call yours? <laughs> Milky Way? What the hell is that supposed to mean? What's milky about it? <laughs> well, it's funny at least. <laughs> so, how does the Milky Way break down? Like, how is it divided? Oh. Huh. So you wouldn't know where we are right now, right? Well, I found the ship just outside of the Ita. We're on the border of the Kitra region, Sector 018. Uh, well, each region is divided into sectors. Where we're heading towards is the Aris region, Sector 001. That's where the Ovella is. So, do you have a planetary system at all? Or just Earth? Hmm, okay. But you only inhabit Earth. How come? Oh, well, that's why you're supposed to make them inhabitable. With artificial suns and strategic layouts. Wait, do you mean to say that you have a traditional solar system? Really? And a traditional sun. That is crazy. So you don't systemize your planets at all. Oh my gosh. Well, we have seven systemized planetary systems. Oh, well, it just means that we move planets into strategic placements where they're all accessible to each other and fully inhabitable. Like in the Aris region, we have five. Ovella, of course, and Odina, Makra, Porpa, and Virovet. And then the Bascus region has Murmury and Amazk. Yeah, you're lost again, I'm sorry. No, I just... I can't wrap my head around how little you actually know. Well, anyways, 
you should be good for now, I hope. How do you feel? Lightheaded? Yeah, I can imagine. So, I'm sorry, I gotta ask you a million questions. I, you've never seen the likes of me then, right? Um, what do you think of me? I'm big. Oh, I'm not that big. Well, I am, but like, I'm kind of short for my species, I guess. <laughs> You're flattering me. I, I was just big enough to get this job, at least. Yeah, well, this is one of those jobs where you have to have a height and weight requirement, because taking down pirates is uh, no easy task. You need to be on the bigger spectrum to cover a wide range of potential species involved in piracy. I do like my job, though. At least when I can actually move in the damn ships properly. Oh, you noticed the gravity caught in, huh? It didn't look like you had a conditioner in place, so I brought in a handheld one. I need to put an extension in, though, because the handheld ones don't cover that much ground. Oh, what, are you gonna tell me you don't have gravity conditioners now? <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, your tech is starting to sound very... Ancient. I'm a tiny bit nervous. Well, if you're not at a certain grade level with how your society functions and the progress you have, you can be deemed as, um, you know, I'm probably wrong. Never mind. It's, it's not my job to know these things. Just forget I said anything. So, um, hmm? What? Oh, and the air quality? You noticed? Yeah, that's just another part of my inspection and cleanup. Did that spook you? Oh, well, uh, sorry. I, I don't know. <laughs> I didn't know anyone was on board right away. Actually, when you guys were on the station, before you ran into me, where were you? Because I could not smell you. I could not pick up on your sound pollution or anything. It was like I was completely senseless. You were in the control room. I couldn't smell you at all. Yeah, I have a really great sense of smell and hearing when I can locate properly, but everything was so clouded in there. I've never felt so blinded. Uh, it, uh, if you don't mind, I'd like to check again. I just, I just want to smell you. I need to make sure that they're working. Uh, Road, you don't physically recoil at someone's anatomy like that. So I guess humans don't have very good manners then. Well, still, even if I'm different from you, that doesn't mean you can just act like that. <laughs> well, I can smell you now, but you smell like the station, so I guess that's why I was confused. The whole place smells of humans then, which... Yeah, I guess that would have been unfamiliar to me. I couldn't pick you and your friends out from everything else, I guess. I wonder why my locating didn't work, though. Hmm? My locating? Oh, um, this little trick. Oh, are you okay? I used that to temporarily hear sounds that are further away. It wasn't working either. Everything in there kept messing up with my head. That made you shiver in a weird way. Are you sure you're okay? I guess there's a lot about my anatomy that you wouldn't know, sorry. And, um, I'm sorry for snapping at you, but you gotta try to not act disgusted. It's very looked down upon to do that. Look, we should probably move on to the physical examination. Yeah, well, normally when I do this, it's to check for hidden weapons, or if a pirate is injured, I have to send to it, and so on and so forth. Uh, I've seen my fair share of offenders trying to poison themselves. But in your case, though, I just want to make sure. And also, I know when it comes to new species, you have to check mobility and tolerance, which means checking how far back your fingers can go, or how far around you can rotate your arms. I'm not really, uh, trained for that. Well, I mean, I took one course years ago, the standard one that everyone takes, but I can probably do it. I mean, the end goal is just to not break your arm, so you have to tell me if I'm bending something the wrong way. Is this something you don't do either? It's not a bad thing to learn. Doing this can help others understand boundaries when it comes to how we interact with each other. 
So if I suddenly need to grab you for some reason, it helps to already be mindful of how I should handle you, if that makes sense. That's why I made sure to only grab you by your suit when I dragged you here. I couldn't see what you were in there. It's more or less the same for most others. There are exceptions, however. For example, Tathodins, they can't turn their heads at all, so you need to be aware of someone else's limitations. You have five fingers on each hand. I've got four. <laughs> Eight for my first set and six for my secondary set. It's actually because of my mix again. Gorglets only have three fingers per hand. There's a couple things about me that are predominantly from my Gorglet side, like my eyes. Cressidents don't have eyes at all. I'm lucky. Me and all my siblings got a full set of eyes thanks to our grandmother. Oh, well, except Yondin. He has only one eye, but that's okay. He's some sort of prodigy, so that little shit doesn't need it. <laughs> You're so funny. Well, it's cute how wide-eyed and curious you are about everything. But no, Cressidens wouldn't normally have eyes because we lived in the dark for a long time. Crescesia was an underground planet. It's just full of caverns. A very porous planet with low density. I've only been there once. My parents took all of us to see how our people used to live. It's just a big, murky moss planet full of holes, really. It's not very inhabitable in this day and age, but we do a lot of mushroom farming there. Hmm? Oh well, my dad has eyes, but my mom doesn't. She doesn't need them. She can hear everything. Better than anyone else in my family. Nobody could sneak out without her knowing. Except Yondin. Little brother sucks sometimes. Sorry, I feel like I'm oversharing. I'd like to know more about you, honestly. Do you have a family? Siblings? Any weird traits I should know about? Maybe we're not so different. I have 12 sisters and two brothers, so I can tell you I've seen the worst of it. <laughs> yeah, no, not a lot of boys. Um, I don't know if you've ever had these problems, but my species is prone to gender shortages. That's not something you deal with. Mm. Oh, well, we don't know why it happens. We have seasons where we just stop producing dirty and eons and Vardy and yet. <laughs> you have no idea what I'm talking about again, right? I'm not really easing you into any of this. I'm not really trained for it. <laughs> I'm not even sure if this is what I should be doing right now. This probably isn't the most beneficial information to be overloading you with, but I'll tell you I'm a Derridean E yet, and I'll, I'll tell you what that means later. <laughs> well, that's all I'm gonna check for your anatomy. We won't go past this point, because uh, then we'd have to ask ourselves some difficult questions. <laughs> Um, I don't really know what to do with you now. Hmm? You do want to know about my anatomy. Well, no, I'm not letting you examine me. You wouldn't even be trained for it. Hmm. Well, what do you want to know then? My nose? Oh, uh, here. Two nostrils on each side. And that's just for breathing. I smelled my sensory tongues, which I recall you didn't like. Oh, okay, change of heart then. Okay, well, uh, thank you, because I personally like the way I look. My ears. Mm, well, I'm assuming the cartilage pattern on the side of your head is your ears, correct? Uh-huh. Well, let me show you mine. There, on the back of my head. <laughs> well, it's part of being a cave crawler. The implates coming out of the back of my head are covered in tiny feathers and they sort of scoop in sound? I don't know a better way to put it. It's scooping up vibrations similar to how my sensory tongue scoop up smell. I have to manually grab my senses out of the air. It's just how I am. I won't lie, you're making me feel kind of shy. <laughs> Do you really think it's that interesting? Hmm. Well, I think you're interesting, too. <clears throat> I feel like I'm kind of boring, to be honest. Oh, stop. You're flattering me. So, so tell me, what's the deal with the hairy top? That's hair up there, right? Ah, oh, I'm kind of jealous. 
You can change it and grow it? That's cool. I don't have hair, but like I said earlier, I, I do have small feathers. Oh, I'm covered in tiny, sleek little feathers. You can't really see with the naked eye, I guess, but um... My entire body, everything you're seeing, feathers. <laughs> Even my face. Just my darker spots. They're a little longer. No, you can touch it. I don't... I don't mind. It's so strange having someone enamored with feathers. <laughs> it feels silky too. I don't know what uh, I don't know what you mean by that. Is that a good thing? Okay. <laughs> no, I don't really need to trim them at all, but I can dye them different colors if I want. I don't really bother though. It wouldn't be ideal for my line of work anyways. Why do I have them? Well, it's something to do with wicking off moisture. Remember, I'm from cave world, essentially. <laughs> I mean, why do you have your little hairy spot? <laughs> hmm. So, uh, this has been cute, but I, I need to get back to work, so I, um, I hate to do this, because it doesn't feel right, but I have to freeze you now. While I keep pirates in chiral cylinders, which automatically keeps others safely unconscious by lowering their heart rate, and they don't open until I get back to Idian, where they can be unlocked. I can only lock them. Well, it was my idea. I, I got cleared to get them installed, okay? Only I can prep them and lock them, but once prepped and closed, it gets recorded and sealed until I get back where the unlocking mechanism is. Other than that, I have nowhere else to put you. And after I finish my tasks on the station, I'm supposed to lower the oxygen levels because it's wasteful if you're not using it. Well, look, this is, this is protocol. This is how I've done my job for 15 years. I can't just... I don't know. I gotta think about it. Um... What? Oh, I, I don't need you to prove that you're... Um, well, may maybe I do. I just met you. If I'm gonna consider an alternate option for where you're gonna sleep tonight, you're gonna have to come help me with my work then. I will release you from your restraints. Don't try anything. You should know that by now. Huh? You want your helmet? How come? Oh, you were chatting with your colleagues before? Like when I was dragging you in here? <laughs> ah, I see. I don't think I can get it to work for you again, no. If it's a range issue, I'd need to go to the source. Well, why don't you show it to me after I get the extension on? Go on ahead of me. The conditioner's in the hangar. No, it's not hard to do. I could probably teach you. You're just plugging this in and configuring it. Although, you can't read catch, so maybe I'll just show you how to plug it in. <laughs> it's this thing right here. It's keeping us on the ground. It adds or removes density. This one is kind of old. I should have put in a request for a new one. Having handheld ones is handy if a built-in one is on the fritz. You just set it down and you see how it clamps down like that? It forms to the ground and then these clasps up here. Well, here you hold it. Take the cords out and then just match the symbols to here. See, it's not hard at all. You don't even need to know catch. It tightens up at the end, just place everything in its clasp, and then feed it through here. That's it. Now I can configure it. I think it's just the lower levels that it didn't reach to, so it's not a major issue. But I didn't finish my inspection, so may as well. No, floating was proving to be an issue for me because of the crabness. My implates kept rubbing on the ceiling, which was getting to be super loud for my ears. So I guess while you're just sitting there, explain to me your outfit. 
What's that all about? It's not a... It is? That bulky thing? That design is so disabling, though. Uh, well, put on the helmet. I want to see. <laughs> I think I get what you were trying to do when you designed it. <laughs> oh, man. I should show you my suit. It's back on the C7. Oh, that's my ship. It's a C7. Deep Space Retrieval Vessel. It's just a little thing, but it's very fast and very strong. And it's my baby. I've put so much work into it. I got a custom layout and design seven years ago. It's exactly how I want it. Yes, even the Cairo cylinders. That was my input for the remodeling. It meant I could make the space more compact and didn't have to worry about my captors breaking out because they... Hmm? Captors? Did I say the wrong word? Sorry, what is it? Prisoners then? You're right, you're right, thank you. It's the lobo copy. Sometimes a few things get jumbled. I know every word you would have known, though. It's a pretty busy language. I got such a headache for the first few minutes of being out of it. Anyways, I was talking about prisoners, yeah. They've been getting better at rewiring the locking mechanisms. This was my foolproof way of stopping that. It's safe, though. I know you're worried, but it's honestly safe. You'll just be... Preserved. Well, I, I don't know. Let me think of what else I can do, okay? I mean, unless I get Stace and then you can ride back with him. His C7 doesn't have Cairo chambers and he's not too far from us. Uh, <laughs> Stace is another Andorite like me. We're the only ones right now. Most people don't want this job or aren't eligible. You're alone a lot, but I like being alone. So I'm perfectly content being out in space for weeks at a time. I remember when Stason joined, and they suggested he work with me. <laughs> no. <laughs> I love Stason, but I do not like partners. Oh no, I love him as a friend, I mean. He's, um, he's too big for me. I, I like smallness. I'm a little insecure about my shortness, so I'm not interested in looking up at someone. <laughs> I am short. For my species, trust me. If you saw an actual full-blooded Cressidin, you'd see what I mean. How tall am I? Uh, 8.9 Redix. Oh well, that doesn't help you, does it? Um, I- I don't know. How tall are you? Well, we can estimate then. Stand up. Let's see here. Uh, I'm not really supposed to ask someone this, so I don't want to put you off at all, but... Um, can I pick you up for a second? Well, it's rude to pick up smaller species, so I just need to make sure. Hey, no, I didn't pick you up earlier. I dragged you. That's different. You didn't leave the ground. But I just want to use you to measure myself with. Okay, try to keep yourself as straight as possible. Huh. Well... According to your height, I must be roughly 15 feet tall then, in English terms. That makes me sound taller. <laughs> Too tall for you, huh? No? Well, that's sweet of you to say. But speaking of co-workers though, you had quite the team with you. What were they like? They kind of just left you to presumably die, I guess? I mean, one of them there seemed pretty adamant on leaving you. Well, if he's the captain, I guess that's his call. Alright, well, this hunk of junk is configured. Now we can head down for a quick look. Oh, but you wanted me to check your helmet. Let me see. Hmm. tinker too much. It's not technology I can really decipher that well. And I don't want to break it. Hmm. Oh. Ah, yeah. Sorry. I know I must seem so advanced with all this tech, but I'm not that advanced. 
So, um, so you said Reagan and Mosley are the females in your team? Sorry, Adora and Reagan. And so Howie and Mosley are male? Okay. Was any of them yours? Uh, you know. Hey, you asked me about Stace and now I'm asking you. <laughs> no? Okay, okay. Are you missing somebody of yours though, back on Earth? No, huh? Well, neither am I. Well, back in the Ovella, I mean. <laughs> oh, well, who's that? Hello? Who's Athena? You didn't mention an Athena. Is it a f- Oh, an AI, huh? Hey, that's pretty good. You got AI. It's, uh, not doing too hot. I don't know how it's connecting right now. Maybe your ship isn't that far away yet. Was it slow? Huh. Well, uh, how long did it take for you to get here, then? You were out here for a year? Well, on Earth here? Huh. I don't know how long that would be for me, but either your ship is slow or you're really far away from home. Here, let's, let's see. Athena? Are you there? No. Looks like we're both having a bad day then. Oh! <laughs> well, let me tell you all about it. I was having a bad day because of this damn shuttle. So, first I find this thing unmarked, no classification, so I was furious for that alone. That makes my job so much harder, not to mention it was not showing up for me as if it didn't even exist, which makes recording the incident that much harder because I have no coordinates to show from the time of retrieval. And from what I could see, it was undocked, so there was no one to go after, so I didn't even get to have the fun part of chewing out a bunch of assholes. And then to top it all off, it's tiny. I can't read anything, and I can't smell anything, and nothing made any sense, and I just- I thought I was dreaming for a minute. I've, I've just never felt so... not in control, I guess. And I didn't know what to do. And then what do I know? I, I hear voices, faintly, and I'm thinking, so help me, my processors didn't pick up a docked ship then, or, or what? Like, what is this thing? What is- what is hat like- like, what is this ship? What is this absolute insane design and layout? Why is it undetectable? How is it that crazy? And I can't even move properly. How am I going to reprimand anyone crawling on my belly like this? And just, it's so, I'm, I'm trying to locate them the only way I know how and nothing. My head is full of strange vibrations and frequencies and completely clouded. I can't figure out where anything is coming from. I can't smell anything. I'm completely screwed. And then once I did hear where you guys were, I'm already so mad. I'm, I'm yelling and I'm being ignored and screamed back at in some language I can't understand. And then you fell down and I caught up with you and now we're here. No offense to you or your space station though. Never in my life would I thought I'd come across something so... Well... Alien. It never crossed my mind. But that's how my day has been. You know you stare a lot. It's okay. It's just... Funny. What are you thinking? Are you curious about my tail? Well, it's just a tail for positioning my direction. I'm assuming you have stronger gravity on Earth, because on my home planet, we did not. In fact, we barely had any at all. That's what I meant by low density. We kind of just floated around. So picture me, but like with no eyes, and a bit taller, and floating around in a dark, mossy cave. That sounds scary. What? I don't think so. It sounds beautiful to me. I went there once, right? I got to experience it. It was so peaceful. What is what is your planet like then? So it's more of a water kind of forest planet. That's what Gojiko is like too. Maybe you'd like Gojiko. You probably would want to go home though. Um, I don't know exactly what will happen to you. First, we have to find Earth, and if we hadn't found it already, then it must be in a blind spot or somewhere that hasn't been explorer-friendly. The thing is, you have to be graded before any kind of proper contact is made, and I don't really know much about that. <sighs> mm. 
When we get back to the Ovella, can you promise me something? Well, um, can you promise that you'll stay around me and only me? I just, it's just in case. I'm not saying anything bad will happen, but I, I guess I just need to make sure. Can you just promise me that? Just, just trust me on this, okay? I feel like, I feel like there's a chance you won't get a very friendly reaction at first. It's hard to explain. Um, you're staring at my forehead, what is it now? <laughs> oh, these guys, my crown piece. <laughs> they're, well, they're hollow. They help me reverberate different sounds I can make. I'm realizing now that I've been going on and on about how archaic you are, and here I am, literally a product of my ancestors. Oh well, um, my species hasn't really changed at all in the millions and millions of years we've been around. We are still eyeless, unless you get other genes in you. We can still make deep guttural bellows with our crowns and echolocation and everything is still exactly the same and no one knows why. A lot of species lose certain traits over time, but not us. We are stuck as we are and refuse to change. Maybe that's why we're such a stubborn bunch. <laughs> How much have you changed, then? Oh, really? Uh, at least you have that going for you. You know, you're distracting me now. <laughs> I'm just kind of sitting here doing nothing and talking with you. Well, I want to talk with you. You're flattering me, first of all. And it's, um... Uh... <laughs> I, don't, I don't want you to take this the wrong way, but you've... <laughs> You've been hitting all my marks. Well, with acknowledging me as tall and taking so much interest in me and my life and, and coming around to my appearance, I guess I'm just starting to get the feeling that... Oh, 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 no, 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 that cannot be what I think it is. But I just had to think my day was getting better. Uh, hurry, faster, follow me, quickly, as fast as you can. My ship, it's ripping off the shuttle. This is bad, we're gonna be stuck here. Well look, my C7 is ripping away from its dock. It wasn't compatible with the shuttle, I had to force it on. But I guess I didn't do a good enough job. I, I don't know what to do. My distress protocol is in there. My, my suit is in there. I, I can't even go outside to reattach it. Is there anything here? What? You'd seriously be willing to go outside and secure it? I guess mm, that suit of yours makes me nervous. If you think you can do it, then I think it's the only shot we have. Um, wait here. Okay, I'll put this in your ear. I know, it's wet. It's supposed to be wet. I can talk to you through this. I can guide you on how to equip the emergency cables. There's already extra cables on the outside of the C7. I wasn't proactive enough to put them on. That's my fault. It's only for emergencies. Oh, this isn't ideal. And I, I guess you're gonna have to trust me, and I'm gonna have to trust you, because right now, I guess we need each other, okay? Otherwise, we're gonna be stuck on a dead space shuttle, drifting away. Yeah, whatever, I need you. Don't get hung up on it. We don't have much time. Are you good? You're roped in now. Okay. Get ready. I'm starting the decompression. You can hear me all right. Okay, so just um, get around to the C7 first and position yourself at what's still holding onto the shark. Start there and work your way around till it's all back in place.
spreads out. Okay, now go ahead. Click down the orange tab. Just anywhere. Press into it like it's a button. There, that's one. It suctions it in. Okay, do the next one the same way. Once all the blue parts are sealed on and suctioned, it creates a sort of crude, airtight seal, and it'll be enough for now, and I can redock afterwards. Or maybe even leave it at this point. I, I, I might need station for this. Okay, so much for my ego. Do you mind if I... Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, now we know hugs are universal. <laughs> but, um, but, but hurry, it's probably better if we stay on the C7, just in case. Well, it looks secure to me, but apparently I'm not good at making that call anymore, so we're just gonna lock this up and stay in here. <laughs> Okay, I can do the inspection just outside of Idian's atmosphere. I, I just have to approve everything before I land it. <sighs> yeah, yeah. I really don't want to report what just happened. Maybe I should tell Stason, though. He can tell me what to do. Ugh, but he's gonna... Oh, you know what? You should meet Stason. He's in Sector 015 of the Dorian region right now, but I can message him and get him to voice connect. Maybe I'll go ahead and send him a copy of English so you guys can talk too. I want to know what he thinks about all this. He's going to be so surprised. And then he's going to kill me. Well, while we wait, I, um, I think I'm down for that external analysis. Ah, uh, sure, why not? Your curiosity has me enamored. Go ahead. <laughs> oh yeah, you're definitely not trying to do this. Here, go like this. And I'll bend my arm. <laughs> well, you're only assuming it bends the way yours does. You gotta try all the way around. And then I can tell you that's too far, so now you know I don't bend that way. 
You're so tender and gentle, though. It's so interesting. I'm used to smaller species not giving a shit. They'll give you a big old smack on the back or yank on your fingers to pull you somewhere. I guess what's the point of being careful around the bigger others if they can't feel it, right? You feel like it would be rude? Hmm. I won't be offended. I'm used to it. From what I could tell, most of my appendages move similarly to yours. Uh, my second set of arms work a bit differently, though. I bet you couldn't even move them if I just kept them loose. You could try it. <laughs> no, barely. <laughs> Another thing would be our temporal mandibular joints. Yeah, the, the joints in our jaws work very differently. But not everyone's back teeth have their own separate appendage. Oh boy, do I even need to show you? <laughs> Your last reaction involving the mouth area was a little upsetting. Well, okay. Huh. <laughs> the way you're looking at me now looks like you can cut glass. Uh, I'm just gonna pretend you really liked it then. Oh, you do? Well, you've had a change of heart then. How come? You're not thinking what I'm thinking. Uh, oh, that's him! Stason? Ah, this language. Hey, Harry. Oh, every time you do this, don't call me that. <laughs> but why? Because it makes me want to shove you into a chiro cylinder, that's why. I can hear you took the Lobel copy, though. It's messy, huh? Yeah, um, what is this? It's super busy. It's English from Earth. What? Where's Earth? Way deep out in the Accra. What? what do you mean? You may now refer to me as an R9 researcher because I just discovered a new species. You're joking. Is this a prank? <laughs> you wish it was a prank. Look, I'm sending you something. Open it. It's got their blood work and DNA breakdown and so on. Whoa! What did you actually- Yes, I did! Wait, what happened? You know that dead ship I couldn't report on properly? You found them? Pretty much. They're called humans, and they don't speak Atla at all, or Ketch, or Kiltskik, or anything. Their DNA is from nowhere, and there's no tracing at all. Where are they? How many are there? Just one. Say hi. Ah, uh, hi. Well, Arabin, this is... I don't know what to say. Well, there were four more, but they got away. I'm sorry. Did I hear that correctly? They got away from you. This ship is really cramped, okay? I'm on all six trying to navigate it. <laughs> For once, you weren't prepared. Just this once. So you're just hanging out with a new species? What the heck? That's not fair. Oh, Stason, you should have seen how my day has gone. I almost lost my C7. That would be highly problematic. How did that happen? I just couldn't dock it. I didn't know it was that badly docked. I'm sorry. It's okay. This one here saved me and went out to fix it. That's impressive. Wait, why did you send them and not go yourself? So, anyways, um... Ooh, Harry. Don't let anyone know. So, anyways, Stacy, everything's fine, and I'm not touching a shuttle now until we get back to Idion. Okay. But before I get distracted, Ervin, I had messaged you early because of what Meng had sent me. You should have gotten one, too. Have you read it? Meng? No, I haven't seen it yet. What does she want? We have a distress call from an R9. And Shrot sent it. Uh-oh. What happened? A uh, crew member went rogue. Ooh, that's exciting. I know. It's not every day you get to deal with something out of the ordinary like this. Are you able to come with me? Well, considering my whole day has been out of the ordinary, this sounds tame. <laughs> Where are their, uh, coordinates then? I'll send them. But they were last heard from Endorian 009. Just about to enter Eris 003. Oh, that's a trip then. I'll have to drop the ship I'm towing though if I want to get there in time. That's probably fine. Hopefully it stays in the Kitcher region and we can find it later. It doesn't even pick up on any of our scans though, so there's a slim chance. We might lose your station. Is that okay? I have to change course to answer a distress call. Are you going to tell someone about your human's discovery? I don't really want to. Um, you're gonna have to? I'm nervous too. Yeah, but why? What's wrong? Well, they're, no offense, but very, very behind in their technology. 
And depending on what Earth is like, what if they, um, Bajerman v. Masses? Oh, well, Nitrod says the best. Dorosia. Oh, yeah? Well, you should message me and mention how they saved you with the ship. Hmm. You probably have a good chance at swaying her opinion, and that should help with the outcome. Yeah, I guess I could. I would do it. Plus, you don't know what kind of repercussions you could get for not sharing this information before you bring them on the planet. Uh, okay, I will message Meng. Good. They probably won't get livestock. Uh, shut! Don't say that! What? Ignore him. Say. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Oh boy, alright. I've been diagnosed with head empty once again. Which comments a stop? Alright then. Sorry, sorry, it's hard to explain exactly. Mommy and Daddy are just Shh. having a disagreement. Stacy! Harry! Okay, go do your job. Yeah, stop pretending you're an R9 and get your ass out of Kitra. <laughs> well, I've got a research while you're such a dumbass, uh, next. Uh, hey, by the way, before you get mad, I'm using gas for the R9 arrest. Oh my gosh, Stacy, why gas? I can't knock them out myself. We're dealing with council members, we can't just throw them around. I'm using gas. I can't punch a council member? Come on. The reprimanding of car at all employees is a tiny bit more delicate than actual criminals. I'm still gonna come in hot, I don't care. That's fine with me, but yeah, I'm going. Just get here ASAP. Watch me get there before you. Maybe if you close your eyes, Cressy. Bye! Hey, what? Learn how to talk. <gasps> how dare he? <laughs> you see, you see why I work alone? This is the company I put up with. Cressy. Yeah, okay. I'm going to undock then, because apparently I'm good at that. And, um, plug in the coordinates, all that stuff. And yeah, I'm sorry. Your station has to be left behind. We can try to find it again, though. Me and Stason will. And I'm sure we'll get the extra help we need to find it, because the council will probably want it. I may have to message Mang. Oh. Uh, her name is Astrid Mang, and she's an ambassador and part of Cardinal's council, and she's notorious for sticking her nose flaps into everything. I know her, but it's been years since I really talked with her, so I just don't know what she'll even say to me about this. Huh? Oh, well, basically I'm being asked to respond to some stupid online ship because somebody on board had a breakdown, and now I have to go and arrest some hotshot fancy research team. I can see her message here. Precious car goes on board and faces potential threat of being harmed. Apparently I'm not allowed to know what the precious cargo is. It's top secret. Oh great. Yes, let's not share the potentially important variables. And apparently... Oh. Someone I know is on that vessel. Someone I grew up with. That's gonna be a weird reunion. Oh, sorry. I'm fine. Just kind of stressed, I guess. It's about time I start a sleep cycle. Come on. No, I'm not gonna put you in the cargo cylinders. I have a slightly less shitty idea. Uh, follow me. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. I'm going to share my sleep cylinder with you. Now I know that's not professional whatsoever, but I think I'd be fine with it if you're fine with it. It's going to be tight. This isn't meant for two others. So you're going to have to tolerate me for a few hours. Does that work for you? Sleep on the floor? Mm, you think I would just leave you alone with all this tech everywhere? You press one wrong thing. Okay, okay. But it's not really comfortable anywhere in here either. And besides, you're still technically under detainment, just lightly. Yeah, I don't know what that means either. Look, just just get undressed. I told you I'd think of a solution, and this is what I'm going with, so just you're gonna have to deal with it. You got clothes under there, right? Alright. <laughs> you're, you're such a funny little thing. <laughs> No, no, it's a compliment. You're like all skin, and then with some hair. <laughs> yeah, just, um, just hop in, I guess. Uh, watch yourself, I don't want to squish you. <sighs> it's tight, I know. Are you okay, at least? I'll warn you, I'm a light sleeper. If I get antsy, that's why. 
I can make this thing knock us out, which is more needed for long trips, but I like sleeping on my own terms, I guess. No, I know, we're gonna have to get cuddly. This is built to fit me only, so just put your arms around me if you need to get comfortable. Hey, um, thank you again for manually docking C7. You know, for a split second, I thought to myself, if you had had any animosity towards me, which I thought maybe you did, that you would have let us drift away just to make sure I didn't bring you back to Ovella. I thought that maybe you were still scared and overwhelmed and would have been willing to sacrifice yourself in order to stop me, especially after I insisted that you needed to be frozen. I'm, I'm grateful that you chose to help me and trusted me. And that's why I'm worried. I want to make sure I can do the same for you. Hmm? <laughs> okay, look. I'm sorry. I don't mean to hide anything from you. But I know... I, I said something to Stason and Ketch and... What did he mean by livestock? <sighs> okay. Listen. There's a chance that you might not get to have full living rights in which you're protected like everyone else. It's complicated, but you could be deemed an animal. The standards are kind of high from what I've been told, and you could be considered food. No, no, please don't panic, don't panic, don't panic. This is why I asked you to trust me and to promise you'd stay close to me at all times. I don't want to believe it could happen, but the carnivores are so desperate for new food sources they might stretch the definition of what's considered an animal. There's a bit of a conspiracy going around that the carnivores are pushing for more meat by changing the definitions of intelligence. I mean, I don't know if I believe it, but there's been several secret groups of others that have started popping up, trying to sabotage carnivores to, I guess, make them untrustworthy. I don't fully know. You just catch word of these things when you get a look into the criminal world. I'll have to arrest them if I come across these cults, but otherwise no, none of this is confirmed. I just, um, want to take a bit of precaution with you and try to think this through. Well, cause I like you. Huh? No, I'm, I'm not a carnivore. I'm an omnivore, technically. I do eat mostly meat, I'll be honest, but I love mushrooms. Cave vegetation, right? I'm assuming you're an herbivore. No? Oh, you're like me then. There aren't a lot of omnivores in the universe. It's, uh, it's rare to be one. That's nice to have something in common. I wonder what else we have in common. This is probably the wrong time to ask this, but do you... Well, you seem very intrigued and curious about me, and I'm curious about you, and I guess I'm getting a bit of a sick fascination with the idea of... about being intimate with someone of a species you've never encountered before? Or am I crazy for wanting that? I, I promise I didn't lock you in a box with me just to do things to you, but you got your arms around me, and like I said, your innocent questions have gotten me so interested in you. I like how innocent you are. I feel like I want to protect you. <sighs> Look, I'm not professional. Not at all. Nothing about what I do at all is professional. I'm paid to hunt down others and drag hunks of metal across space. It's not exactly prestigious. Um, why? What are officers like on Earth? Oh, like that. Oh, uh, yeah, we do have something like that. It's called something else, though. Maybe I'm more like what? A bounty hunter? Um, not, not quite, but I get what you mean. I don't kill people, usually. But look, there's not a lot of room in here for anything to happen. I, I just wanted to know how far your curiosity goes. I don't know. Well, I can feel you running your fingers along my feathers, so that's saying otherwise. Well, don't worry. I don't want to embarrass you, but it's up to you. I come off strong, I know. It's just kind of how I am. I 
just wanted to shoot my shot. Oh. Hey, you can't shuffle around in here too much. What are you trying? What was that? Okay, and what does that mean? Is that a romantic thing humans do? So you are as forward as I am. <laughs> I like that. But then you should know how my species displays romance. <laughs> Was that bad? I know it's a lot. It's supposed to be. Affection is supposed to be bold. It's supposed to be intense. I guess we have a lot more to learn about each other. But you gotta slide back down there because this is suffocating me a bit. <laughs> now how am I gonna explain this to Mang? <laughs> I'll figure it out. Or Stason will. <laughs> but now I get to go barging into a research vessel and clean up somebody else's mess. You'll stay in here just in case, okay? And then we'll go to Cardall instead of Idian, so Stason can fix my mess. <laughs> That's usually how it goes. <laughs> but get some sleep, though. I gotta think about what I'm gonna say to Ming about how I found you. Uh, oh, if... Well, if you don't get a good grading, I mean... Keep in mind, it might take a while. If it's not good, I'll keep you. I mean, that's all I really can do. But for now, I don't think I will say anything. I think I might wait until after we do the rescue. I can tell you really like my feathers. <laughs> no, please keep going. It feels good. I can feel that you're fussy. I wasn't expecting that. I didn't really notice it at first. Maybe I'm more tired than I thought. But believe me, I'll bug you with more questions once we get up. Well, uh, good night, Fuzzy. <laughs>